Welcome. And for them is an Alcatel one from 2019, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. And when you put it up for the first time, you will then have to select your language by tapping right here and simply finding your desired language. I'm gonna go with English. So once you select your language on the Hi There page, let's tap on Start. And from here, go to our I'll Connect to Mobile Network. So we can just simply skip this. It allows us to insert SIM card, but you can literally do it throughout the process at any kind of step or after the process. And you literally don't have to do anything apart from slapping the SIM card in and calling it a day. So then we have the option to restore the copy of like apps and uh, data from an old device uh, by choosing this option, but I'm gonna go with setup as new. And then we can connect to Wi-Fi. Now by connecting to Wi-Fi later on you will have the ability to also log into your Google account if you want to and also restore it from all the device along with the time and date being set automatically uh, based on the uh, network. But I'm going to choose to skip it and this will in turn also probably mess up the time. So there we go, there is the time and it's telling me that it is 6.12 and it's two hours, a little bit too, too far. So it's number one, change the time zone to plus two. There we go, there is plus two. And now it's correct. So let's go to next. And from here we have the name. So if you choose to insert a name here, this will change the name of the device. And for instance, when you plug it in to your computer, it will show up as uh, whatever the name as phone is. And also things like the hotspot and Bluetooth will take the name of the device. If you choose to leave it empty, the device will then resort it to, or basically sort it to default. And it will be something like Alcatel 1 or whatever the model number of it is. I'm gonna choose to leave it empty and then we can protect our device so we have a couple ways of doing it either pin pattern or password or not now which will just allow us to skip this i'm gonna set up a pattern here uh, secure startup now this is uh, associated with the security so what it does is when you boot up the device before it enters android it will force you to put in your uh, security and then once the device boots boots up after you put that in it will still require you to do it once more so because of that i'm gonna choose to say no so the device only needs to boot up and then you still need to confirm the uh, pin pattern password whatever it is but with without the secure startup you don't have to do it twice so from here we can put in our pattern repeat it confirm it and there we go now on the next page it also automatically wants to add uh, face ID So you can unlock your device with your face again. This is completely optional. I'm gonna skip this by tapping well, on the skip button And then you can Choose to disable or keep on some of these options. We have location help apps find location So this is just GPS tracking then uh, Improve location accuracy uh, this is more to do with like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, search and then below that we have send user and diagnostic data so kind of how it sounds it just gathers data on you and sends it to google and you can disable all of them if you want to and then when you scroll down to the bottom you have accept and then anything else uh, no and we're almost done with the setup and finish once more and there we go so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching